Hello everyone, my name is Jitendra Bapna. I am a senior solution architect. In this video, we are going to see how to enable API gateway on the top of your application deployed to Docker container. So basically, in last video, we have seen how to create a flex gateway in local mode. And now we will see how to enable a flex gateway on the top of your MuleSoft application in the local mode. Okay, so let me start uh, showcasing something. So if you see in last video, we have created a flex gateway with two replicas. So you can see these are the two replicas, uh, which is already running, right? And like, you know, apart from that, like you can see both the replicas are running. So you can see it here. The next thing, like I have, I have already deployed a one application on this Docker container. So basically I have a other container which having the mule runtime and there is an application running on 9001 port and you can see it uh, on my any point platform. You can see this particular application deployed to mule to server. So you can see it in my any point platform. Let me go to the servers and you can see there's a, there will be one instance of servers registered and that is uh, you can see it here mule 2. Let me browse that application. So what will happen? Uh, so basically I have container running on 9000 port and my application is running on 9001 port basically. So now I will send the request to the container and container will forward the request to the mule app. So let me show that demo. So I can go to, you know, HTTP and you can see uh, 192.168.0.106. Uh, this is the IP address of my Docker container or of, or, or of my Docker engine. Even you can, I think you can use the local host also. I can say enter and I got this successful response. So what I have done, I have sent the request on my Docker container and Docker container has forwarded my re request to the mule application. which is listening on 9001 port basically. So you can see you have a mule runtime and your application running on 9001 port and your container is running on 9000. So I have sent the request on port 9000. So the container has forwarded or redirected the request to the mule application on 9001 port. Okay. So that now what we have to do. So we have already created a flex gateway with two replica, replica one and replica two. Now the client has to send the request to the flex gateway. Then flex gateway will forward the request to container and from container the request will go to the mule application. So why we are doing so we can like once we enable the flex gateway on the top of your application, we can apply any policy and we will going to see that example also. So let me explain this once again. Now client will not directly send the request to the container. Instead of that client will send the request to the gateway and gateway will take care of redirecting the request to the mule soft or like Docker container where mule soft application is running, right? So this is the simplified view. So we have uh, like we have already this container set up. We have already have a flex gateway set up. So like, you know, how to set up a flex gateway in the local mode. You can see my previous video before watching this video. And apart from that, if you see, we have a flex gateway folder where the, this three file has been created when we have set up the flex gateway. And you can see this is a two Docker and two replicas, replica one and replica two. And this is my uh, mule runtime or mule container where my mule application is running on port 9001 and my container is running on 9000 port. Okay. So now like uh, now what we will do the first thing we have to enable the API gateway on the top of your application which is running on like port 9001 and the container port 9000. So for that, uh, you can go to a MuleSoft documentation. So if you, uh, if you go to MuleSoft documentation, you can see manage a flex gateway in local mode. You can say publish simple API. Here you have a configuration file. You have to do some changes in that configuration file according to your needs, right? And we will going to do the same thing now. So this is my configuration uh, file where I am saying my API version, uh, what is kind. This is all like a metadata and the method like name of your API. So I will, you can give any name. I will change it to employees API. And here, like uh, this is my gateway uh, address. So in my case, I will simply say like you know, 127.0.0.1 and I can say port 8081. So if you see, we are setting up like client can send the request to this particular port 8081 to the API gateway. Then like you have to provide the URL of your API. So now where our API is running, if you see this diagram, we have to provide the like uh, container port and the host uh, of the container. 
so what is that my host of the container is 192 dot let me copy this particular url http 192 dot 168 so i will just change this copy this i will change this address okay then you have to provide the path so right now what is my path so i have only a single path so which is slash api slash employees so i don't like this is some wildcard if you have some other uh, path after orders so you can put this wildcard dot star mean anything after orders but in my case i don't have multiple path i have simply employees right i have created uh, this particular file apart from that like you can you need to do the changes here also it's not mandatory even you don't do it will work but better like keep the proper metadata and everything it's very important if somebody uh, read the file they can uh, like discover what this api is right so i provide all this information so here like it's just kind of metadata then i provided the address where client can connect and after that where my api uh, API is running basically that is the address this 192.168.0.106 this is the IP address of your docker engine or you can call this the IP address of your machine let me save this file I can say employees dot yaml okay so always save in the yaml format so let me go to uh, I can say all type so I will save this file to desktop save it let me go to desktop okay so this is my yaml file and what i will do so I, like when i set up the flex gateway in the local mode you can see we have created one flex gateway folder i can copy this file here then it will automatically discover the file and it will set up this uh, this particular uh, gateway so you can see you will do the uh, you can see the changes is happening here so you can see the employee api like 127.0.0.1 then like uh, this is my implementation you are aware your implementation exists so you can see that and it will be happening on both the replicas right so you can see this happen on the both replicas right let me go and browse the url instead of you know uh, 192 i can give uh, 127.0.0.1 slash 8081 you got the successful response let me uh, close this browser and let me try it again we got a successful response now what happened we have actually sent the request to this particular url that is the flex gateway url from flex gateway it is redirect to the container and from container it is redirect to the mule application so this is the setup we have done just now right now the next thing we have done this why we are doing this so with api gateway you can manage the full life cycle of your api like uh, starting like you can manage you can govern you can secure you know now we will try to secure our api with basic authentication policy so as i mentioned we are doing this particular setup in the local mode so we cannot apply a policy from any point platform that we have done in the connected mode right if you see my previous video we have set up the flex gateway in the connected mode in connected mode you can apply the policy from any point platform in this case we cannot apply a policy from any point platform so we have to do we have to add a policy in your config file so right now we have set up uh, we have created one config file in that config file we will set up the policy also so for adding the policy you have this particular thing so you can go to policies i will just say enter i'll go here make sure the indentation is right okay so if you go to mule documentation they have clearly exp explained everything so how you can secure the api so they explained the two policies so you can go to docker one so here they are saying like you know how can the policies can be applied so here you have one uh, related to basic authentication and one related to rate limiting in this video we are going through a basic authentication policy right so what i've done i add policy then we have a policy wrap what is the name of the policy and config for basic authentication we just require username and the password let me save this file again let me copy this file again okay i will copy this file again not this one let me check if everything is fine in this file yes and the username password setup is admin admin replace the file in destination once i will do you will you will see some changes happening on your replicas okay this has been done now let me browse this particular url okay let's wait uh, let me close this browser 
let me browse the URL. It is prompting me to pass username and the password. I will say admin admin. Now we got a successful response. So you can see like you can apply a policy using this config file. So in MuleCrop documentation, you can see uh, like two policy has been explained basically very well, right? So like now we have completed this particular setup. If uh, whatever like we are defining this particular presentation, we have set up that. So like that, like you can add multiple endpoints, you know, uh, multiple like uh, services into your single uh, config file. And this is also described in Mule documentation, publish the API with the multiple up, upstream services. We are going to see next uh, demonstration, how we can like uh, create it or how we can manage a multiple APIs using a single flex gateway. So in next demo, we're going to see that also. So you, like meanwhile, you can go through this MuleSwap documentation. It, they provide everything very clear and you can go through that. Okay. So I hope you like the video. Like if you like the video, please click on like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.